Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, Tatai has cut this piece of bamboo for me. Uh, it's a longer piece. I just cut it out of that. That's what we cut off down there. This is the bamboo. Both ends are solid. As you can see, this is a, a large hollow compartment here uh, in the middle. And so what I'm going to have Tatai do, I want to use this to capture the bees in. I'm hoping this will work. So he's just going to drill a hole about pinky size right here for the bees to get in and out of and hopefully if I set that down there with a little bit of honey inside of it uh, they'll make a new home in there so hopefully I can go back in a couple three days and they've they've moved in so I'm just gonna hang this in that tree pretty close to where they're at Is it there? Yeah. That's good. Mm. Perfect. Thank you, Tata. This one for red. That's red stool? Yeah. Tata is also making red a stool down here. So is this left? This is leftover wood you had from the table and chairs. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're pretty lucky, Red. Tatai's never make me a stool. He he stole my stump, but he's not. He didn't never made me a stool. He stole my stump to put the vice on. Now I got no place to sit. So how many board feet did you use on that table and the chairs? One hundred and twenty board feet. Yeah. It's more than what I would have thought. All right, we're down here at the at the bee tree, and these little guys are still here. So I brought down our little piece of bamboo. I've, I'm just going to set it up here. There's a little nook right here. I was going to just rope it to this tree, but I'm just going to set it up here. So what we're going to do is put a little bit of honey in it. What now? Yeah, try not to get any on the outside, just get it inside. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'll just put all. Yeah, just put it all in there. Okay, I'm tired of holding it. That's enough. Hi. Hi. I will throw this over in. No, after this. Okay, that's enough. Now what I'm hoping on this is that the bees will get it before the ants do. Uh, that's uh, I'm, I'm pretty wishful thinking. I'm, I'm, I think there's no ants. I'm thinking, but we're gonna set this rip right here, right here in the neck of this tree. Yeah, I can see ants already. There's ants in this tree. That's different. They're different? These won't like the honey? Yeah. The ants that won't like, like the honey is the red one. Ah. Uh, all right, well... That one, love? What, love? Do you want to tie it? No, it's fine. No reason to tie it. It's nice and secure here. Or maybe put in this side. Why? I mean, the, the, the hole. I think that's fine. I'm gonna set it up in that little port right there. And hopefully in a day or two or three or a week, I'll see bees coming in and out of that. And after a couple days of seeing bees come in and out of that, uh, I'm gonna take it home. Much better if this side nothing. Okay. As long as someone doesn't knock it down, undoing this rope. So why is that better than I mean, where I had hole, it before? But the hole, this side, the hole. What difference does that make? The same, the same position. The first position you make, you uh, 
make but the hole is this side not in front uh, and what's your reasoning why that's better I know I, I just feel it you just feel it uh, okay so I'm assuming that somewhere back in there there's a queen yeah all bees that I know have to have a queen and drones for a, a hive to be viable so you just can't go in there and just dig this out because you can't see what you're doing and you'll injure the queen I would imagine so hopefully they'll swarm into this new little home I've made for them up here I mean I can be patient but it, I'd like for it to happen in the next within the next week I'm sure they were going to move there so are these common love I mean you said now that you know that they're they're nice bees uh, do you see a lot of these yeah usually they are in at uh, side of your house back of your house so how come we I've never seen them on the property I don't know I don't know I don't. this is the first time in almost three years that I've ever seen them because in they said if you are if it's a like a lucky charm if you have at your house these bees are like a lucky charm yeah. have you ever tasted the honey that they make no not yet because in my house in Minnesota I have a lot very big a lot very, very big yeah very big uh, hives so how big do these hives get of this kind of bee it depends if they are mini see did you see did you see what they are carrying what are they carrying I don't know. They're carrying something. Yeah. Maybe they are making they are make their hearts bigger. What do you think? Yeah, I think that was a little piece of wood mm. that they're they were making. digging out. Mm. Well hey guys, there's a there's a nice little mansion right here that's got food in it that's ready to go. Yeah, they can smell it. Yeah, they can smell it, they'll find mm. it. Now hopefully they just won't use it as a pantry. Hopefully they'll Much move in. If you this one, you put a little bit, and then you you nail here. Mm. Uh, well, I don't think they'll they would make it that close. Yeah, they will. Because a new a new queen has to be born, and she has to fly out of there and take some of these guys with her. Yeah, it's supposed to be you put. Uh, very rarely will the queen that's in there just abandon the hive. You put something here, and it then has to be a new queen nail. that swarms. And the bees don't know the difference from one queen to another. They're just attracted to her scent. And so some of them generally, only some of them will go with the new queen. And the old hive will still be viable. But the new queen will take enough of the workers with her. You want to see their queen? No, I don't, I don't want to see their queen. I will show you if you want. No. But, but, but the queen forgot her crown. If she forgot her crown, yeah. I think you're drunk. <laughs> well, hopefully nobody will disturb this hive. Yeah. Kids being kids. You know, I watched kids here but for chasing a little puppy around for half an hour yesterday because it trying to kill it because it stole the baby's bottle. Well, I'm I'm not worried about this. I'm worried about that. You're worried about that falling? No, the kids will get it. Well, hopefully they won't. But if the, it, but you, if that's got that bamboo is gone, you're going to get another one and then near here. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's high enough up to where the kids can't reach it. I know, love. The kids can go up higher than that. Yeah, I'm sure. Kids All right. Climbing. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.